Two cards are drawn without replacement from an ordinary deck. What is the probability that the second card is not a spade, given that the first card is not a spade? Okay, first of all, the given that the first card is not a spade tells us that this is a conditional probability problem. We're drawing cards from an ordinary deck, so we know we have 52 cards, and we know all about the suits and things like that, and the colors. We want to know what the probability is that the second card is not a spade, given that the first card is not a spade. Let's go ahead and form that probability statement. We want to know the probability that the second card is not a spade, given that the first card is also not a spade. So there's our probability statement. Remember that the condition gives us a reduced sample space, in my terminology at least. So what I want to look at is what was the sample space before I did any drawing at all, and I'll just actually write that out. Before the first draw, what did the sample space look like? Well, an ordinary deck has 52 cards. And they're asking about something being a spade or not a spade. So the important information within that deck of cards is not how many diamonds or clubs or um, things like that there were. The only thing we really care about is how many spades there were and the fact that everything that's not a spade just gets lumped in together. If there are 52 cards and 13 of them are spades, that means there were 39 and I'll just call them non-spades, things that were not spades. We don't care about the further breaking that down. That's the sample space before the first draw. Now the condition reduces the sample space. So after the first draw, we get a reduced sample space, what I call a reduced sample space. We drew one card and we didn't replace it, so we only have 51 cards remaining after the first draw. And notice that it says here without replacement because it is possible to ask a question where you draw, put the card back in, shuffle, draw again. That's called drawing with replacement and that changes the probability. So this phrase without replacement is important and what it means is that card did not get put back in. So after the first draw, that card stays out. Now the first draw was not a spade. So even after the first draw, there are 13 spades remaining in that deck. But since what was drawn out was not a spade, there must be 38 non-spades remaining in the deck. And again, 38 plus 13 is 51. And this second is your reduce, what I'll call the reduced sample space. So given the reduced sample space, now what is the probability that the second card is not a spade? Well, the non-spades consist of the 38 cards that remain in the deck out of the 51 total cards left in the deck. So the probability that the second card is not a spade, given that the first is not a spade, is calculated from the reduced sample space as being the number of things you want, which are uh, not spades, that'd be 38, over the total number of cards left in the deck, which would be 51. Now, had that fraction reduced, we'd want to reduce it, but 38 51st does not reduce.